Hi, I'm Nishad and welcome to this new video tutorial of Akinio. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out our new plugin. That's the Akinio URL Media Attribute plugin. So using this module, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to create a new attribute in Akinio. That is the URL Media Attribute itself. So using the URL media attribute, you will be able to add media files to your products by uploading public media file URLs there. Apart from that, for the uploaded public media URLs, you will be able to download or view the particular files as well. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out the procedure in the admin backend panel of Akinio, wherein we'll be seeing how to create the uh, attribute in the first place that's the URL media attribute in the first place apart from that we'll also be seeing how we can assign the URL media attribute to a particular family and then how we can assign it to a particular product uh, when we are creating the product using the particular uh, assigned uh, what we say as the family there but before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so let's get ahead and let's go to the Akinio backend panel and let's see the workflow there of creating the uh, URL media attribute in the first place and the rest of the workflow thereafter so right now you can see that I'm at the Akinio backend panel right now. So what I'll be doing is uh, I'll be taking you to the admin backend panel. So we'll be logging into the admin backend panel. And the very first thing that we'll be doing is we'll be creating a new attribute that is the URL media attribute type there. So for the same, let's hop onto the backend panel and let's log into the admin backend panel by entering the uh, username and the password there. So let me go ahead and let me enter the password. And let's tap here on the login button. So after we have successfully logged into the admin backend panel of the Akinio, uh, we'll be able to create the new attribute there. To create the attribute, what we need to do is on the side panel, we have to go to the settings option. Under the settings, we have the attributes. Tap on the attributes. That will display the complete list of attributes that you have already created within the Akinio there. And to create a new attribute of the type that's the URL media attribute, you have to tap here on the create attribute button on the top right hand corner there. So I'll tap here on the create attribute button. Uh, this would bring up the section to choose the attribute type. And here you can find the URL media type attribute is available. So I'll select URL media attribute type. And this would bring up the settings section for the particular attribute that we are going to create. So here we have to set the code for the uh, particular attribute that we are going to create. So let me set it as URL media attribute. The type would be URL media, the attribute group. So here I'll be choosing the attribute group where this particular attribute that we are going to create would be visible at. So I'll be choosing it as others. I can select it as uh, marketing ERP or URL media or depending upon the attribute groups that are available there already or we are or the ones that we have created or the newly ones that we have created we can assign this particular attribute to those attribute groups as well so for now what I'll be doing is I'll be assigning it to the other group there and uh, then I'll come down and I'll set it as usable in grid now allowing this option here that's the usable in grid what this would do is whenever we are on the product section there we'll be able to filter out the products using the particular attribute as well so under the properties we have set the code the type is url media the attribute group is other and uh, it's uh, this attribute is usable in the grid there and now let's come down through the label translation and here we'll be setting up the uh, label translations for the German, English and the French uh, languages. So for now, I'll be setting it as usable NB URL. So I'll be setting it up for all of these three different uh, label translations for the German, English and the French. And then I'll be tapping here on the save button. So here you can see that the attributes has been successfully updated and has been saved. So the URL media attribute code has been saved and the particular attribute has been saved. Now what we need to do is we need to go to families 
and we need to assign this particular attribute that we have created to a particular family. Now family is basically used while we are creating a particular product in the Akinio backend panel. So what we need to do is uh, let me close this out. So what we need to do is we need to assign this attribute to a particular family. And then when we whenever we are creating a particular product using this uh, uh, what we say as a family then the attribute that we had assigned to this particular family would be visible within the uh, product creation page there and then we can se select the URL media type there so what I'll do is I'll go with the accessories uh, family let me open the accessories family and uh, here under the accessories family I'll go to the attribute section and here you can see that the marketing uh, attribute group, group is visible there the ERP group is visible there the URL media and the other groups are visible and the attributes under each are visible as well so what I'll do is I'll just go to the add attribute section and here I'll search for the usable NB URL that I had created I'll select that up and I'll tap here on the add button now if I scroll down here you can see that we have the other attribute group as well being displayed here and under the other one we have the usable NB so here I'll select it as required and I'll tap here on the save button so you can see that the family has been successfully updated now this was the uh, section wherein we saw how to assign the created attribute to a particular attribute family there now let's see uh, how this particular attribute appears on the product creation page uh, while we are creating a product or on the product uh, edit page when we are editing a particular product there so for this example what I'll be doing is I'll be you making use of an already created product there so let's go to the product section and here what I'll be doing is I'll be searching or I'll I have this braided hat product so let me open this up now after opening the product here if I scroll down here we are having the URL media the product the e-commerce uh, attribute groups and uh, let me scroll down and lastly we have the other attribute group and uh, the usable NB URL the label that we had set up is visible and from here what you'll be able to do is uh, uh, you will be able to add media files to your products by uploading the public media file URLs apart from that you can also preview the media file for the uploaded URL there so for example here you can see that I have one particular file here image file so what I can do is I can copy this particular public media URL file link and I can come back and I can tap here on the link option under the usable NB URL or the URL media attribute that we had created and I'll tap here on this and I'll paste this particular link here and I'll click on the side hand panel there you can see that the image has been uploaded there now if I want I can preview the image as well so we are able to preview the image uh, as well uh, for the media file for the uploaded URL there uh, similarly if I have a PDF file for example I have a PDF file uh, public media URL I can make use of that as well so for example let me click again and let me paste this up and let me click on the right hand side here so you can see that the test PDF file dot PDF has been uploaded here if I want I can download that as well but before I download it up I need to save the changes there and after saving the changes you can see uh, now if I tap here on the test PDF file the file would be downloaded and uh, if I want I can open and I can preview the file as well as per the requirement there and the same goes with the image file as well uh, for example I can change it uh, to the image file as well I can save it up uh, the product there and then I come down I can tap here on the view button to preview the particular uh, media file for the uploaded URL there itself so yes that was much about the Akinio URL uh, media attribute module there and I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the workflow of this particular plugin there of how to create the URL media attribute in the first place how to assign the URL media attribute to a particular uh, family and then how on the product edit page or on the product creation page we will be able to see the, the URL media attribute value under the particular attribute group and how we can upload the files there for the product 
there itself uh, with an example of the image and of an PDF file there. So yes, that was much about the video there. And if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding the same, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvds.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.